Will, Sunday, the line on the surface doesn't look too pretty. Six runs, two and two-thirds. But the Yankees say you open up a lot of eyes with how you compose yourself through a rocky first inning with some defensive issues behind you. What did you find out about yourself after that first inning? Yeah, I mean, it is about bouncing back. It's about, uh, you know, you're going to have those rough starts uh, here and there, and it's all about, you know, can you keep your team in the game? And so that's what I try to do out there. You know, come back uh, after sitting a little, had some thought on it. Uh, sometimes not some good ones, but, uh, yeah, bounce back. And Matt Blake told me that you are your own harshest critic out there, but you find a way to stay even-keeled. What do you tell yourself in real time? Yeah, uh, absolutely. got to look yourself in the mirror uh, and be your hardest critic. So, uh, yeah, just staying, you know, pitch for pitch, uh, you know, how am I going to get this guy out? Where, where are the strengths? You know, you do that in the game plan beforehand, and uh, how do you execute it when you get out there? Now, when you were invited to big league camp before spring training began, did you envision still being around here on March 17th? I did not. Uh, I knew it was – I knew I had the opportunity to do so. Um, keep telling myself, take it day by day. Uh, and here we are, still here, hanging on. So, Off the news of Garrett Cole last week, when that happens, do you, does Clayton beat or do others, do the antennas pop up and think, okay, there might be a spot for me on this major league roster? Uh, I think, you know, we had that envision coming into the camp. Um, you know, I hate that that happened with Garrett. Uh, but I think we had already envisioned ourselves possibly making this team. I think that's what you have to keep your mindset at. Uh, that way you stay, you know, ready to roll, uh, whether anything like that pops up. So, Do you know what the next step for you is for the rest of the spring? Uh, I don't. I'm just kind of taking it day by day, like I said. All right. On, on a much lighter note, Southeast Louisiana State guy, Mississippi born and bred. I read at earlier in camp, you and Ron Guidry, you've been getting together, but he was a little insulted because you, you did you pass up a chance to taste the jambalaya made by Ron Guidry? What happened there? I didn't pass it up. I was a day late, uh, left it in the uh, refrigerator in there, but I brought it home, 10 out of 10, told him that, had some gumbo yesterday, also fantastic, so it was nice to have a little home cooked meal basically awesome well awesome thanks for stopping by and chatting with us and good luck to you the rest of the way yeah absolutely thank you